Super nice that you're back in the gym again. I will guide you through the workout of today, the 12th of November. <clears throat> today will consist of a strength portion and a rowing portion. Let's look at the warm-up first. For the warm-up, we will have 10 pentlay rows with an empty barbell. So just the barbell, do 10 pentlay rows just to slowly warm up the body. Then you will do three sets of five reps where you build up. So for example, I start with an empty barbell, then do five reps at 25 kilos, then do five reps at 35, and then do five reps at 45. Depending a bit on what you think you will use in the strength portion, which I will explain to you now. For the strength portion, we're going to do four sets of five repetitions. This should be heavy, but considering that your form stays strict and that you don't start using all kinds of muscles in your body that you're not supposed to use in this movement. So you really want to go as heavy as you can on each set for five repetitions, but there's a tempo here, which definitely makes the movement a lot more heavy. We namely will go down three seconds and go up one second. I will dive into the movement after I explain the whiteboard time and then show you where this three seconds down will happen. After that, we will have a workout. Three sets of thousand meter row with two minutes of rest. But to start with, after your pendlay row, you want to do a bit of a warm up on the rower. You will do 60 seconds of easy pace, so just slowly rowing. You can still look around, you can talk to people, 60 seconds. Then 40 seconds of moderate pace. It will be harder to talk to somebody while you're rowing. 20 seconds of fast pace, where you definitely don't want to be able to talk to somebody because then you're not going fast enough. Two sets of that to make sure the lungs are ready to hit it hard in the workout. So then the workout is three sets of 1,000 meter row, two minutes of rest. This means it will be some form of an interval workout. So you want to push it pretty hard on the 1,000 meter row, then recover for two minutes and hit it again. Try to aim for the same pace. Unless you just crash really hard on the first one, then maybe go a bit slower to make sure that you beat your first time. But really challenge yourself on every 1,000 meter row. Don't save yourself in the first one every single time to not be able to go hard. Every set should be a hard effort because then you will, it will be the easiest way to get fitter if you push it every single set. Okay, let's have a look at the pendlay row. For the pendlay row, bubble is around the start of my laces. My back will be straight at all times and my butt may be a bit higher than normally in my starting position of any other lift. So bar is here, the focus is on the lats. So there, bar goes to just below the chest. This is where you want to aim for. Important thing is that you don't put your elbows too high, so don't aim there. What you see what's happening is that my traps start overworking and my shoulders start overworking. I don't want to do too much work here. I want to work with my lats. So really bring the barbell there. If you feel like this is happening too much, focus a bit more on getting your hands a bit more towards your pockets that you probably don't have in your training pants, but you get the picture. So bring your elbows there and your hands there. That's for the pant lay row. Then I just want to look at the strength portion where we have the three seconds down. Which means we're going to go explosive up and here 21, 22, 23, 21, 22, 23. Like that. So three seconds down really means that you have to break the bar. So it'll be very good to make you a lot stronger. So focus on that and again Make sure everything else stays tight and you don't start kipping in any kind of way. That's it for today. Um, I hope you guys have a lot of fun and uh, we all hope to see you again soon. Have an awesome day.